moving on from where we stopped i'm going to open first site the project so the page that we have here is index.php and in this page we have both html elements and then we also have the php code php and html can interact very easily for example you can see that we already included a php code here this can be included in any part of the application we can actually include it even before the doc type so i can open a php tag here and then just echo a string End it to the semicolon, save the page, and then if we refresh, this should be first sight. You can see at the very top here we have that string testing. So PHP can be added in any part of the HTML document as long as we use the appropriate tags for PHP code. So basically, the PHP tag starts with the less than sign and a question mark and then the word php and then we also need to close it with a question mark and a greater than sign as you can see in this page this tag that we are using here is referred to as the standard php tag and you are always encouraged to use it the way it is here the other tag that we can use is called the short tag where we just use less than sign a question mark and then question mark and then a greater than sign so this is the short tag to use this we must enable some configurations in our php inn file which i'm going to show you now so to locate that file we need to go over to zamp folder so go over to my drive d drive zamp and then php here i need to look for php configuration file okay so right here we have php configuration file i'll right click and then i'll open this with notepad the specific directive that we need to look for is called short open tag i'll do a control f and then type short underscore open underscore tag all right so do a find Okay, so this is what we are looking for. By default, it is turned off. And if you read the instruction here, you advise not to actually use this tag when you are developing. This is because mostly it has issues when you are migrating from one server to another, or also as stated here, you may encounter issue when you are generating SML documents. So if you want to use this, all we need to do is just change this value to on save this and then we need to restart our zamp server so i'm going to open zamp stop apache and then restart apache so now coming here we can do the same thing echo using short tag refresh and then you see here using short tag so i'm going to turn off that directive now turn it off save and then restart zamp server so if we go over to the browser again and do a refresh you can see that that other part is gone because now we are no longer allowing the use of short tag in a php file i'm just going to get rid of this now one other thing that i want you to know here is php language is actually not case sensitive so for example we are using the the keyword here echo i can put it in all uppercase so you're gonna get the same thing go over to the uh, browser do a refresh you see get the exact same thing so you can miss it up echo like this we are still going to get the exact same thing when we reload the page so php language is not case sensitive however sticking to one specific style is recommended 
So I use all lowercase when I am writing PHP applications. All right. So depending on your preference, but the standard is actually to stick to using lowercase. 